homosexuals exhibiting themselves. Exhibitionism of homosexuals, just going around uh, advertising yourself that you are a homosexual. Africans are flabbergasted by exhibitionism of sexual acts, whether heterosexual or otherwise, and for good reason. Why do you exhibit your sexual conduct? We, the public, are we interested in your sexual conduct? What do you have to show us? Are you short of opportunity for privacy, where you can kiss, fondle, or etc.? Why don't you go into privacy and do your own things? Are we interested in seeing your sexual acts, we, the public? I'm not able to understand the logic of the Western culture. However, we Africans always keep our opinions to ourselves and never seek to impose our point of view on others. If only they could let us alone. Because we normally see this conduct of these Western people, you, you, you just wonder, why are these people doing this? How, how, how did their culture develop? But we just keep quiet. <laughs> we don't comment. You have, I have never had anybody uh, complaining that, that uh, people are kissing in the public. Why don't you go in your privacy? What is the problem? Here, we don't do things like that. There's enough opportunity. You go into your house. Why do you have to, to why do you, do you come to us? How you are kissing, how you are, eh? It's not our culture, but we see the Europeans doing it, but we just keep quiet, we, we, we never say anything. See, this is the problem with the Westerners. They cannot understand politeness. Eh? They cannot understand that somebody is keeping quiet, but he's not happy with me. No. Until you tell him that you, you go and eat your mother something, something. That's when you... <laughs>
sexual activity against the order of nature. The punishment for that offense is life imprisonment. The U.S. has warned of economic consequences of a legislation described by Amnesty International as draconian and overly broad. The leaders of the UN AIDS program, the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, and the Global Fund, in a joint statement Monday, said they are deeply concerned about the harmful impact of the registration on public health and the HIV response. Uganda's progress on its HIV response is now in grave jeopardy, the statement said. The anti Homosexuality Act 2023 will obstruct health education and the outreach that can help end AIDS as a public health threat. The statement noted that stigma and uh, discrimination associated with the passage of the act has already led to reduced access to prevention as well as treatment services for LGBTQ people. Anti-gay sentiment in Uganda has grown in recent weeks amid news coverage alleging sodomy in boarding schools, including a prestigious one of uh, for boys whose where a parent accused a teacher of abusing her son. The February decision of uh, the Church of England's National Assembly to continue banning church weddings for same-sex couples while uh, allowing priests to bless same-sex marriages and civil partnerships inframed many in Uganda and elsewhere in Africa. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.